We are ready to go here in Austin. Off the opening tip, Texas looks for the layup, but a turnover on the pass into Patty Fye, so Louisville will take over after the early turnover. Mikasa Robinson for the cards. Outstanding player on both ends of the floor. Cochran trying to work on Gaston and muscles it up for the first two. And look at the reaction from Olivia Cochran as she runs up the floor. Starting five for Texas, presented by Capital One. Harmon at the point. Gonzalez had 20 the last time out. Shea Holly, five. Deanna Gaston, a presence on the inside. And already a couple of four passes so far for Texas. And this time a foul is called on Deanna Gaston. Well, one thing that Louisville is going to have to do a better, Texas rather, is going to have to do a better job of taking care of the ball. Two turnovers on the first two possessions. Not a good look, Gaston going to the bench. And she's going to get an earful from head coach Vic Schaefer as she heads off. Amina Muhammad, a freshman, 6'4", comes into the game for Texas. The starting five for the Cardinals. 24 wins on the season. Robinson, Van Lift, Chrislin Carr, Cochran scored the first point, and freshman Nyla Harris rounding out the starting five. Good, strong take by the freshman, and a good start for Louisville. Harmon... Dishes it down to Muhammad, the freshman, rolling to the basket, and she was fouled. And will head to the free throw line. Cochran picks up the foul. So Vic Schaefer, in his third season as Texas head coach, trying to get them back to the Sweet 16, where they were in his first two seasons. They did that one better by making it to the Elite Eight in his first two seasons, as Muhammad misses the first. And Jeff Walls, you heard one of his final messages to his team in his locker room. Up being on the glass because this is a big physical Texas team, but Walls felt pretty confident that his team would be able to battle physically with Texas here today. There's Gonzalez. This is the one who has to get going offensively for Texas. Turning inside and getting denied is Muhammad. Our well, body just continue to fall. We, I don't know how many times we've seen people on the floor. Monday night demolition derby here in Texas. <laughs> I thought that was Friday nights. Back to Van Lith, and she'll try to settle things down. Well, you know, you've been there. When you are in an elimination game, especially in those opening minutes, I mean, your nerves are really, really sensitive. You're on edge right from the opening tip. Van Lith settles things down with a three. Uh, Louisville finding the rhythm, slowed down in the offense when they got the offense to rebound. He's just said it, rebounding is critical. Harmon doesn't normally look for her shot, but Texas needed something. And Vic Schaefer's already out of the jacket. That didn't take long. We're inside of three minutes, and it works as Holly comes back the other way. But look at the outstanding defensive player, Mikasa Robinson. And really, we have two elite defenders. Gonzalez back to Harmon. Look at Kayla Jones posting up down low, trying to be a big, big presence. Jones coming off a good game against ECU in the first round, and Harmon looking for her shot. She's got the first four for the Longhorns. I think Texas is trying to go so fast, but you need to find they got to slow down and get in their rhythm. Hopefully, with Harmon making those baskets, other players will step up. But Haley Van Lith. Haley Van Lith, as Tamika mentioned right at the top of the telecast, had such a strong close because it was a slow start. She had two fouls in the first quarter against Drake. Harmon is fouled by Robinson. So here is the sophomore from Houston, Rory Harmon. Vic Schaefer has been red hot on the bench. She's been marching up and down. Deanna Gaston has been drawing his ire. Along with Hattie Fye, two of the starters, is Harmon at the free throw line with the 12 assists in the East Carolina game. And of course, you know why, as Muhammad tries to get it back to Taylor Jones, and here's Van Lith. Van Lith going all the way, and Jones gets called for the foul. As Van Lith goes to the free throw line, Big Schaefer, well, that's why he wears a suit, you know, like everybody else has gone casual here. 
But Vic wears a suit, so when he rips off the jacket, you know <laughs> it's time. <laughs> it's, it's on. It's, and it's go time. time. But he is more red than burnt orange in the face after the start for this team. Blues kicks it on the floor for the cards. She brings some size. Here's Gonzalez, defended by Carr. And Dixon denies. Another turnover by Texas. That's five already for the Longhorns here in the opening minutes. Carr, good three-point shooter, not this time. Texas needs to move the ball quicker. By the time Holly had that ball and tried to pass it in, it wasn't good enough. Taylor Jones steps up. Against DCU, she was 5 of 6 from the field. And she comes through off the bench for her first two. Van Lith could not settle back on her, but she misses. Quickly back the other way. Gonzalez. And you hear the stadium going crazy. Transition game, I think, on both sides is going to be big. Van Lith tries again. In and out. Harmon with the rebound. Lead out to Gonzalez. Taken away by Carr. That's six turnovers. Carr, Van Lith. The great fake, the drive for two. Eight early points for Haley Van Lith after going for 26. Vince Schaefer, 34 and 8. Five sweet 16s. Four elite eights for Louisville. Five for Vic Schaefer in his time at Mississippi State and now two years in Texas. The players change, the years change, but they are very consistent year after year as Harmon drives out of the timeout, and here comes Louisville's Morgan Jones back the other way with the push. Well, one thing we know, when March comes, they have their team prepared, and Coach Schaefer always talked about at what point in the season it takes to start getting ready for, for March, for March Madness. It's interesting here, Walls has... Holly knocks down the three. Walls sticking with Robinson on the floor here with the two personal fouls, Tamika. Robinson playing with the two. Let's see how aggressive she is. Pretty aggressive. Takes it out, Holly. Winner of this game takes on Ole Miss in Seattle. Holly with four on the shot clock on the drive. Followed up and put in by Taylor Jones. Van Lith tried to make the extra pass. Van Lith off the mark for three. What well, you're seeing right now, missed shots become almost like loose ball turnover. Both teams wanting to get the ball up and down the floor. Gonzalez on the run. Tie game. Well, we may be tied after one, but that must feel like a win for Texas after they fell behind 7-0 from the jump. Longhorns come back. Uh, it's most of the crowd here tonight. The Gonzalez family well represented. Mom, Candace, Dad, Josh in the middle of everything. 11 at last count family members were here to root on Shaley from Gilbert, Arizona in her first season with Texas after a state out here at BYU. She's got a rebound here to start the second quarter. Game is getting real physical. Louisville able to get it on the run. Great finish by Jones. Holly back out to Gonzalez. Rebound to Morgan Jones. He just scored for the cards. Perhaps looking for more here. Card. Cochran. Shut off. Was it deep trouble, but it doesn't have to be pretty. It just has to be pretty good. And exactly. Uh -huh. Taylor Jones is posting up a little bit further out. Looking at Josie Williams in off the bench. Harmon was on her way down. Kept her balance just long enough. And here come the cards. Carr. 
Good recovery by Texas. An outstanding defensive team, but great work by Louisville to find the open three. Offensive rebound, a second chance here for the cards. That's Josie Williams. Good job, Josie Williams getting the ball, going up strong. Here's Harmon. I think Louisville got their back from the pack from the ball. Moving the ball around. Harmon in the middle. Harmon with a Get beautiful, out. beautiful feed to Gonzalez. So Gaston's going to come back in for Texas. Texas have to go to the bench early. You see Sonia Morris back on the floor. Her second straight game. She returned against East Carolina. She had missed 10 straight with a quad injury. Well, I think the big thing, she got to be able to knock down shots. We talked to Coach Schaefer about, hey, what does she bring? She brings you another scorer. She brings you another guard. They've been really limited from the guard position with her being out. So hopefully she'll get a tough point early. Carmen can hit the rebound to Williams. And lift. Williams will try for a three. How about that? Josie Williams in her first season with Louisville played at Utah Valley the last four seasons is a huge spot. And Dietrea averaging three points a game coming in. She's got five already off the bench and it's helped Louisville outscore Texas 9-0 to start the quarter. And out of the timeout, Marissa Russell. Carr has been off so far and is still off from outside the three-point line. She's now 0 for 3 from beyond the arc and 0 for 4 overall. Just the second NCAA game of her career. Well, we've already talked about just how physical it is. We've seen both teams in the physicality. Look at William basically tugging Jones. Oh, it does look... At first glance, that Gianna Gaston received the message from her head coach. Bad lift. Russell on the drive for two. Here's Harmon. Inside of four and a half to go in the first half. Morris. Gaston doubled. Russell ticked it away, and it was last touch by Jones. Taylor Jones, number 44, going to the bank with her second foul. So Jones to the bench with two. Picasso Robinson picked up two in the first quarter. Stayed in the game, but she's not been on the bench for a while for the cards. Van Lip turning and scoring. Haley Van Lip in the double figures with ten. When you are looking for somebody that can step in and score at will, Haley Van Lip is that player. She has the ball in her hand. You know something good is going to happen. This 13-4 run has given Louisville its largest lead of the game, and they have a chance to add to it here. Carr trying to turn Harmon around, and finishes. Louisville has been aggressive. Everything that they have done has been aggressive. And on the defensive end, Dixon with the block. When you think about aggressive right here, Haley Van Lift, you see when she comes up the floor, her eyes are up. Tack mode right into the shot is good. That's what Haley Van Lift can do. Gaston again looking to score. Drops it in. We want to turn package yet today and just making sure you got to be locked in. Dixon rolls to the basket and scores. Van Lift gets run over by five. Got to run around. And Haley Van Lift with a nice little loud clap right in front of that Texas bench. I love this matchup right here, don't you? Harmon and Van Lift, and now Gaston knocks down Olivia Cochran. That's two personal fouls on Gaston, who has all six of the Texas points here in this quarter. The Louisville has outscored the Longhorn 17-6 here in the second. Kicks it on the turnaround. No, Gaston was fouled by, fouled by Carr. The Louisville's over the limit. Texas shooting a couple free throws here. NCAA Men's Basketball Championship continues with the Sweet 16. Go to NCAA.com. Texas women trying to join the Texas men in the Sweet 16. Once again, they go.
go with a long pass to the midcourt to Morgan Jones. Gets it back from Carr. Jones. What a first half for Morgan Jones. It just feels like she's been in the middle of everything. She's got four points now, but she's also got five rebounds and an assist. Armin tried to take it over Cochran, could not. Shot clock is off, and Van Lift will slow things down. Final 10 seconds of the quarter. Carr trying to take Gonzalez off the dribble. And she earns a trip to the free throw line. And here is Crystal Carr. That's a smart play, taking Van Lick to the, to the bench as well. Carr comes through at the free throw line. Texas time as Harmon gets across half court for a final heave. And that will do it. It'll be Texas basketball to start things here in the third quarter. Mikasa Robinson limited in the first half to just eight minutes and ten seconds on the floor to start quarter three for the Cards. Taylor Jones getting a third quarter start here for Texas. And an early foul called on Olivia Cochran. You cannot direct or redirect a player as they're trying to cut. to Harmon. Gaston scored all seven of the Texas points in that second quarter. Cochran on the run and a foul called on Rory Harmon. That'll be her first. Winner of this game will take on Ole Miss who shot Stanford last night winning by five. Louisville getting on the offensive glass. Second chance here thanks to the work by Nyla Harris. Jones with the block. Six block that we said in the Saturday performance. Going up to Cochran, shot clock winding down, turnover by Louisville. Harmon then lift, hits her on the arm. Two free for his phone against East Carolina, had 12 block shots, picking up the 79 40 win. Big Schaefer really thought his team played hard. They were, the word he used, interested on defense, which means they're active. I think where Texas is struggling right now, three for eight from the free throw. They're shooting 38% from the free throw line. One of two for Harmon that trip. Carr knocks it down for the two. I said he had to just put her on the bench, tell her to calm down, and I think she's been so much better this, this game. Making it tough on Rory Harmon. Harmon, though, looked like she almost had an assist after her highlight reel, but it just wouldn't drop for Texas. Robinson defended by Holly. Cochran. Gaston stopped her, and a foul is going to be called on Harris. Gaston on the turnaround. Kicks it out to Van Lith. Harmon out to defend her. Shot clock winding down. Rebounded by Taylor Jones. And big want to see this team get into their transition game. Take it down low to Gaston. Cochran gets called for the personal. Three fouls on Olivia Cochran. Olivia Cochran got very close to the cliff's edge right there because she was saying something to Talisa Green, one of the officials, on her way to the bench. And Green told Jeff Walls to tell Olivia that's enough, who's now on the bench with the three fouls. Once again, the pressure from Texas. Trying to turn the game around. And they get the steal. Gonzalez misses inside again. Harmon the two.
Three-point attempt is no good by Russell. Harmon. Jones fouled by Dixon. Taking advantage of the energy that is coming from the crowd. Another reason for home court advantage. Battled injuries throughout the season. Missed nine total games. It's been a big part of the story for the Longhorns this year. And Lip get the score here in the second half. Tries to get going. And she'll head to the free throw line. Another replay right here. Andy Van Lip, you look at Holly. Every time you swing your hand down, you might get called for that foul. Holly swung it down just enough. 12 4 to Jones running the floor. That one won't drop. Got a lot of missed layups right there. Caught for three, not able to hit. But tip back out and another second chance here for the cards. Carr. This time it's short, but Dixon's all alone for the putback. And the foul. It got loud in here. Jeff Walls kept his cool and so did his team. Louisville's done a really good job of getting on the board. We thought that Texas, because they're bigger, would be able to push out and get more boards, but Louisville's fighting back. Harmon. Tough shot, won't drop, but she'll go to the free throw line. Harmon at the free throw line, 57% free throw shooter. 0 for 2. And a foul's going to be called on 5, trying to get the rebound. That'll be her fourth. And Texas is over the limit here in this quarter, so free throws the rest of the way for the cards. Starting to go on a run, get a couple of free throws. One of two for Russell. She's got three. So Jones has to come in. Five checks out with the four. Texas has got to find offense from someone other than Deanna Gaston since the end of the first quarter. She has been the most consistent by far Texas player. Holly on the drive. Good strong take. That won't drop. Get another missed layup for Texas. Carr. Open for three. Gaston came out early in the first quarter, but back on, and I feel like her focus and the thing that Coach Schaefer was talking to her on the bench. They've missed some very close baskets, and now they got to try to get things going on the defensive end. Try to get some turnovers and turn that into offense. Holly's going to get called for the foul. Somebody has to step up. Louisville crowd has tried to counter this Moody Center crowd with their energy and their noise, and they'll get loud here as that rebound goes off of Taylor Jones. You've got to make sure before you start looking to turn that you have both hands on the ball. Taylor Jones turned her head just a little bit, wasn't able to hold on to the ball. On the cut to the basket. They have made every single shot hard for this Texas team. Robinson makes it hard on Gonzalez, but gets called for the foul. That's exactly what they worked on this morning, and it was executed, and it worked out. Into the corner, Robinson. Kicks in. Can't get it to drop, and guess who's got the rebound? Louisville's got another board. Got to be ready to get on the offensive board. That's what Louisville's been doing. You got a box out of your Texas. Van Lip drops in another two. Louisville's defense has progressively gotten better as the season has gone on. It has been a leap here in Austin with a spot in Seattle on the line. Harmon, he got free. Takes Holly off the dribble and drops in two more. Harmon for three at the buzzer. The Louisville Cardinals, 10 minutes away from Seattle. They outscored Texas 16-4 to close out the third quarter here in Austin. They have allowed Texas.
Texas has allowed Louisville to get on the offensive board. They have not been aggressive. Oh! Morgan Jones and one! Look how quick she's going downhill. There is nothing you can do. You can't stop that. Brad Sweeter from Jonesboro, Georgia. Transferred in from Florida State. Easily their best defensive ever so far this season. Gonzalez off the mark. Well, we saw it against Notre Dame in the ACC tournament. They held the Irish to 38 points in that semifinal win. That was a standout performance. This is going to be right up there with that. Jones with it. Inside a nine to play. Robinson splits defenders. Flips it up for two more. A 20-4 to four run here by Louisville. Gonzalez back out to Holly. That won't drop. Cards want to push. Van Lith with the feet inside. Timeout, Texas. The Cards running away with it here in Austin. Louisville with a win here tonight will make it to the Sweet 16 for the sixth straight time. They are in control right now on the road, but a foul is called. So here's one of the freshmen for Texas at the strike. They started the second quarter with a 9-0 run. Remember in the third quarter, Texas had a little momentum. From the start of this game, the opening tip, you could just tell. Turnover here for the Cards when Intanda takes it at Van Lith for two. Another assist for Tamika Catchings. Closing in on seven minutes to go in the fourth quarter. Van Lith, you know Harmon won't stop defending, and Van Lith won't stop finding ways to score. He's probably one of the best players I've seen in a while that can just score at will, and that's something that you've worked on. Hands of Van Lith with Harmon back. Robinson, the follow up. It's been a team effort for the cards. Morgan Jones. The basket, another Turn. missed layup. Van Lith on the drive. Two more. Haley Van Lith. Sixth time in NCAA tournament history for Van Carr with the shot clock at seven. Game clock inside of four. Robinson. Creates off the dribble. Rebound by Winnetonda. I think that's too much time. Texas has got to try to figure out a way to speed up Louisville. Yes, good, good shot, Winnetonda. Carr with the handle. Robinson on the drive was hit. And the foul, a chance for a three point play. Gaston and Harmon go down. Gaston with two and a half to go. When Tonda will earn a trip to the free throw line as Cochran picks up her fourth foul. Team around her was just screaming loud with excitement. This is the beginning. This is March. It's March Madden. Robinson. Five to shoot. And an offensive foul is going to be called. Just feels like this game has been over since that 12-0 run in the third quarter for Louisville. Texas came out close to deny, but then the Cardinals had an answer. It started on the glass. Gaston gets a put back. Dixon. Robinson on the cut. Texas fans will salute their team for a great season. Got a top four seed. From the practice they had last uh, yesterday on Sunday to the shoot around today, they have been locked in and ready to go up against this Texas defense, ready to attack the paint. They got they've outscored them points in the paint. They've out rebounded them. They flat out have put everything out on the line. Gonzalez, defended by Carr. The final seconds tick away. Lobo, sweet again. Their sixth straight trip to the Sweet 16.